Chapter 19. What if you had one decision less to make every single day? Quote, sometimes you make the right decision. Sometimes you make the decision right. Unquote. Phil McGraw. How many decisions do we make on a daily basis? What if we subtracted just one? But we did it every single day. That would be 30 fewer decisions per month. 365 fewer per year. Think of the extra time, energy, and focus you will have. Not would have, but will have. Did you get that? You just made one decision less. It's not whether or not you're going to do something because you've now got that covered. It might be when you'll do it in the day, but that's such a small decision and not an if decision, but a when decision. And those are all details. Once you decide that you're going to join the ESD movement, you'll be dissecting a part of your brain and tossing it in the recycling. You'll have one less decision, one big decision less per day. Every day. ESD is greater than T-E-O-D. You no longer have to think about if you're going to do it at all today, or debate with yourself whether today or tomorrow is better. If yesterday you really should have, but didn't, and then since you didn't do it yet today, you'll do double time later today. But by later today, you're no longer really sure when you did it the day before yesterday, and whether or not that still counts as twice every other day or even once every third day, and if making up twice on the second and a half day, you'll soon not only can be convinced that every single day is simpler than twice every other day, T-E-O-D, but you'll be yearning for it. If the theoretical case above isn't clear enough, here's a real-world example. Let's find a test case. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm. Okay, fine. Me. On November 1st, 2012, a decision was made for me when I started a 30-day experiment to write every day for 30 days. Well, okay, I agreed, but reluctantly. I didn't really want to start down a path because I wasn't sure what was going to happen, if I could really do it, and I thought I might fail miserably. I was just plain scared. Scared of failure, but deeper down, and I wouldn't have admitted it, but possibly scared of success. It was all just safer to talk about and not actually truly do. Sheesh, that sounds like reasons enough to just don't do it, right? I should mention at this point that we're talking about a tough decision, one that you don't take lightly, and, in fact, you'd rather not make at all, because it will have more to do with who you become than what you're doing every single day. There's a factor, a power, a deeper force at play here, because you know that you actually can't not do this thing you're lamenting that you're hemming and hawing about, that you just can't decide to do or not. I get it. I've been there. I didn't want to start either, because starting opens you to failure. If you don't start, you can't lose. Well, sorry, but you can. Only if you start can you progress. Can you turn your once-in-a-while decision into an every-single-day mantra that you live by? That annoying little guy on one of your shoulders will be obliterated by the angel with the tattoo on the other shoulder, who takes over and has made that decision for you. It's now done. It's no longer a decision, but part of what you do, and soon it will be part of who you are. I know scary, get over it, or get out of the way to let the next one through who has already made the decision to go for it every single day. The choice is yours. Want to know the secret? You only have to make the decision once. You decide to do it every single day, and you no longer have to make the decision ever again. 
See how that worked out nicely like that? Bonus numbers section for the math geeks. Let's say that one decision took just one minute. If we factored in not only time, but available brain power plus the stress on the system of indecision and stress, it is worth at least three minutes. Not to mention the positive effect that having already made that decision has on your nervous system, gaining the ease of clarity and certainty, I would go so far as to say that this decision, to have already made the decision, would actually gain time lost. So could this mean that we are turning back time, and that this process not only doesn't cost you time, but earns you time? Could it be that we gain time? Are we making time? Are we creating more time than exists? I told you it was for math geeks. Maybe it's for existential math geeks. They have a different Facebook group. Possible? Twice every other day. Impossible? Yesterday. Repossible? Every single day. Day.